Hi Pisces, it's Abby. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, thank you for being curious. If you're new here and this is one of your first readings with me, welcome. Uh, if you are a Pisces, fantastic. If you have some other connection to Pisces and that's the reason why you're here, that's fine too. Uh, as long as people keep it nice and civil in the comment section, that's the only thing I really look out for, okay? I like to keep this as chill it and chill and relaxed an experience as possible. So, I'm just going to pull a couple. Why does this want a thing? Oh, Blossoming Abundance. I think you had that a little while ago, Pisces. It was just kind of stuck to my finger there. So you have flexible and victory. I feel like a lot of the signs, when I did the uh, readings for the first half of the month, uh, between this channel and my second channel, this channel, Rogue Pisces, is just Pisces readings. I have a second channel where I read for everybody, but a lot of signs were getting the victory card. So this... It's in the upright. It's success and achievements. It says this card shows a beautiful spirit holding a golden victory wreath, an acknowledgement of your achievement. Success is on its way, and you have a sense of pride in what you've worked to accomplish. The achievement may be a great outer success, or it may be a deep inner change that you've been exerting a lot of effort towards. Enjoy the sense of accomplishment, but be careful not to rest upon your laurels. People expect outer triumph to bring great changes, but often there may still be inner work to do. So let yourself be open to the victory on every level now. Okay, so possibly some kind of a ch personal achievement, but just reminding you that there might be something else. Just because if your outer world you get a win... Keep your um, your eyes, your senses, your intuition open if there's, you know, stuff that is still inside. So we have the affirmation says, I'm achieving great things within myself and in the world. I see myself as a success in many wonderful ways even now. Okay, so this sounds like a few of you are having some kind of personal win. The flexible card here is about teachability. Okay, it's open-mindedness, being adaptive without compromising what's most important. The tree's roots are solidly planted in the ground, yet its branches can bend in a hurricane, whereas the rigid structure like a building would come crashing down. Consider how the trees remain supple and secure even when everything around it may be in shambles. This is how you need to be now, willing to learn new things, teachable, malleable, yet firmly granted, grounded in who you are. Common sense is important, so, but so is an open mind. So stay curious, stay open, stay aware. At this time, others will be more flexible with you too. Okay. This is so interesting. So let me take a look. Which decks am I going to use? I didn't even organize anything. I just, <laughs> I had a long day at work. And then I came home. And I was like, I want to get some readings in. And I didn't even pause to organize, so I might seem a little out of sorts for a second here, but I just felt like I had to sit down and do it. So here we are. I'm going to do a little nine card, and we're going to see what we get. So remember, not every reading that you find on YouTube is going to be for you, so only take the parts that make sense. All right? If it doesn't make sense for you, it might not be your reading, but I have a whole playlist. I think there's like 180 Pisces daily timeless readings in there. So you may very well be able to find one or a few that are actually for you. If this one doesn't fit the bill, you have the 10 of swords at the bottom of the deck. So it's the dawn of a new day. You are walking away from something and sort of surrendering to new beginnings. Okay, so I pulled out, this is a, a little mini deck. It's a holographic version of the Witch's Tarot. Um, I actually think the people, I bought it on Amazon, and I, the listing didn't say that it was holographic. <laughs> and I think they sent this one to me as a mistake, but I liked it, so I just kept it. Um, so in your first row here, we have the Eight of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Magician. So Scorpio and Aries being the biggest energies there with the Major Arcana, but also Eight of Pentacles. So... 
this feels like there is you're moving out of a time where there was a great deal of attention a great deal of focus being paid to something in particular so this could have been your actual work situation or this could have been a craft it could have been um, something to do with your self-image or your self-worth the stage you're at in life okay with the judgment card here so that, because this can have a lot to do with the stages of life going from knowing that you're on the edge of a new version of yourself you just feel this calling you feel this sort of uh, intuitive pull that's like it's a whole new you that's just kind of trying to burst forth here ten of swords again on that eight of pentacles so for some of you you may have had a um eight of pentacles is a card of workaholics for me and with ten of swords it makes me think that for some of you uh there could be someone out there who's watching this who they're maybe a job loss or an ending at a job, leaving a job. It either happened and kind of, you know, felt crappy, or there's like this sense of just needing to get away from this place is what I'm kind of getting here. For others, it feels like there was a some kind of an ending. And then it's like as a result of that end, it's almost like as a distraction i'm feeling like putting all your time and energy and effort into something else so that could be like self-improvement or spirituality um this could be friendships really okay <laughs> we will leave it there um sorry something just felt funny when i was putting those last two cards down so you have the judgment here with the ace of wands gorgeous energy so that rebirth there being a spark, a passion, an inspiration of some kind, some kind of a uh, little passionate bubbling, right? Um, there could be also for some, like say an attraction that's being sparked here with maybe a Scorpio, possibly also an Aries. You have this with the magician, right? This high manifestation energy. You have the nine of cups, which is all about the wish fulfillment. And you have the six of wands, which is all about victory. So this feels like, for some of you, you may have been manifesting a particular win, and it's something that you would find very, very satisfying. It feels like it's also something that other people would notice or they would see. Six of Wands can be a, a card of being out in public. Yeah. Interesting, but it's like a wish that's like, man, I want people to see me bounce back from this thing, or man, maybe it's like that you're manifesting a new start in business. Maybe you're going out on your own. You're being entrepreneurial. Maybe you're starting a new phase in life, you know, in that way. Maybe you've been a, got the magician again at the bottom of the deck there, if you can see that. Lots of manifestation energy. But this feels like starting something new and really desiring not just the success, but recognition and... um acknowledgement we have in the current sort of timeline here so more seven of swords five of cups and two of wands uh the th this is interesting because it's almost like i feel like for some pisces there might be a preoccupation with whether or not um like other people outside of yourself are happy for you or want you to succeed um i'm just very drawn to how this person in the seven of swords is looking at the six of wands because we already have the six of wands down here i feel like this is you triumphing over something and this top row for me can be the mind space sometimes so it feels like you've put a lot of time effort and energy into into something that's you know reacting to an ending and so it's like okay picking everything up and whether that was in business or a relationship it's like you're picking everything up and rebuilding and putting a lot of time effort and energy into it um this seven of swords is speaking to me right now of like just like a preoccupation about whether or not people are like whether or not someone might have it out for you yeah seven of wands it's just very defensive right two sevens so this is just like I feel like this could be maybe some fear, okay? Some fear-based thinking. Uh, this could be something like, 
I'm, I'm striking out on my own to do something in particular, or I'm, I've decided I'm going to go out in the world and date, even though all my friends are cynical and think there's no one good out there, you know? Um, and knowing you're going to have to stand your ground, but it's kind of like being prepared to defend yourself from people who are going to be almost like sneaking into your energy in this funny way. And so like there's a bit of uh, defensiveness there, right? Like I'm a little afraid maybe to vocalize what I'm doing or to really put it out there because it's like what if these people kind of like crap all over it, right? Which of course no one wants to deal with it here. I mean, you're ending on the Six of Wands. So I feel like it's going to be pretty good. You have the Page of Pentacles too here. So at the, at the end of this, so it feels like you're moving towards something tangible in your actual 3d world what's up with this five of cups it's all the all the boohooing in the middle here two of pentacles mm. okay so five of cups clarified by the two of pentacles here regret just regret This feels to me like if there are these moments where you're sort of, I want to say anticipating for some reason. I keep getting anticipating. So it's like anticipating that these cups are going to fall. Anticipating that these, these things are going to maybe not be great. And then there's a bit of sort of uh, will I, won't I, am I going to start it, I don't know. You have an idea or a passion or something. There's some kind of inspiration that's telling you to maybe go do something you haven't done before or to reinvent something that you have done previously. Like maybe you've been single for a long time and you're thinking of getting out there. Maybe um, it's different. Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe you've been, you know, kind of a serial monogamist and you've been in one relationship after another and you're like, I'm just going to be single for a while. Um, I'm getting this kind of vibe of someone who's like, everyone around me expects me to be a certain way. And it's like this anticipation of getting blowback from something here. Hmm. This makes me, this two of pentacles makes me want to tell you to just try to have some fun <laughs> with whatever you're doing. The two of pentacles can be a card of having fun. It can be, it's a card called the juggler a lot of the time. You have this flexible card where they're doing like acrobatics, talking about like bending, moving, interesting here and it's all connected to a personal victory with these wreaths right these victory wreaths all kind of pulling through together here nine of pentacles two of wands mm -hmm. okay so waiting and needing to leave a comfort zone making those grand plans right um being in an empress like mode the nine of pentacles is like the empress energy of the minor arcana this is like a self-assured confident business person this is somebody who looks you straight in the eye and tells you exactly how they feel not cruel good negotiator interesting so is this pisces or is this someone else i mean it could be reversed I want to know what's about this Nine of Pentacles. Tell me all about it. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. So like what's worth, right? Is the energy I'm putting into this thing worth it? I feel like there was a time where it's like there's a bit of this planning. And it's like the Seven of Pentacles comes in between this Two of Wands. So it's like two of wands, planning for the future, having the whole world in your hands, realizing the possibilities and the things that you can do and starting to like set things in motion. And then as you're starting to see little results, you're kind of like looking at it and going, oh my God, is this actually going to be worth it? I don't know. Did I spend all my time gardening a, you know, a patch full of stink blossoms? <laughs> it's no good. But then it all kind of blooms and comes together, right? And there's this really beautiful independent spirit that comes up in this we have six of wands eight of swords and the page of pentacles in your last row so a great victory and some kind of 
new offer. Now, this could be just from the universe in general. Or you could have an earth sign who's in the mix somehow. Pentacles are all about time, attention, energy, effort, work, your physical body. It feels like around you at the moment, there is a lot of... I keep getting this vibe that it's like almost like your environment. Um, where it's like the people around you might be limiting themselves a lot. Like you might hear them say things that are just like so limiting and so negative and you're just getting like fed up with it. Because it's like all you can see is these people sort of putting themselves in these cages, right? Putting themselves in time out in a weird way. And they don't have to be. And it's like trying to rise, up, rise above that. I feel like you are ultimately. And part of this rebirth very well could have to do with this energy that I'm getting of like, I just can't deal with being around people who talk down on me, on themselves, on their own. Like they, they stop themselves before they even get fucking started, man. And it's like, it's just, it's just not fun. <laughs> Sirens. <laughs> Uh, sirens. What do we got here? Mm hmm. Thank you. Happy travels. Safety for you and the people you help. Mm hmm. So you have Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck there. So, passionate energy. I feel like it's very charging forward could be a fire sign person that you're dealing with but do you see how up here you have the six of wands with the world this is like you achieving victory through leveling up in a new cycle that's what i'm really feeling there it's like a maturing energy it could be having to do with possibly travel or moving learning something about a place you've never been before and for some of you the place you've never been before is like taking a chance and actually believing that you can have what you want. Because I feel like for some of you, there's been this, a personal victory that's kind of come in. And it, maybe it happened during a time where you, it's almost like you didn't try as hard as you normally would. And then something worked out really well. And then it's just kind of like this distraction of like, how far do I want to take this thing? But it might not even, you might not even have to follow that particular um, project or person or thing. Um, all the way down the garden path, right? You don't necessarily have to follow it all the way, but it, it feels like this thing is almost like a seed that tells you like, oh, things can work out for me in all kinds of different ways that I haven't really thought about before. With this Eight of Swords energy, you got the Nine of Wands to clarify it. Ooh, so giving things, I feel like this is almost like one last try. Um... I'm also getting that for some of you, it's like you're really wanting to model for people that they can succeed if they are more flexible about their ideas, if they're not as married to the outcome, if they just keep pushing, it, you know, keep going forward. It doesn't really matter like what path in particular you're taking. If you're going towards progress and self-improvement, it's just like, Okay, cool. So just keep trying one little bit at a time. Not everything is going to work, but maybe one of those things will work. And if one of those things works perfectly <laughs> or works in a way that's beneficial the vast majority of the time, do you need every single thing to work, right? For some of you, I feel like this could be even a community um, project or a community-based thing that you might be interested in. With this page of pentacles, you've got the ten of cups. So whatever this opportunity, this pentacle that you want to plant here, it's leading to a great deal of happiness, joy, happiness, even sense, a sense of family and overcoming difficulty. This is very, very cute. I like it, Pisces. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple cards from the moon. Is there anything the moon has to say for this particular batch of Pisces I'm reading for right now? Mm -hmm. Just spit it out. Come on now. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty self-explanatory, Pisces. It says you are good enough. Hell yeah. 
You're very close to achieving your goal. Yes. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. Absolutely. That's what this whole Ten of Swords is about. Well, thank you for just confirming that, Moon Cards. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of the Rebel, Rebel Deck cards. These have a little cursing in them. So if you are not a fan of the cursing, earmuffs, click off, do whatever you got to do. Okay? YouTube allows me to swear a couple times per video. And I'm taking that opportunity. So, let's see what we have here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Such a Pisces card. Hey, get some fucking sleep. It says you're being an ass because you're fucking tired face to pillow now. Okay. <laughs> so some of you, if you've been on the grind in particular, I feel like for some of you it was like there was a lot of proving energy kind of in here back here and it looks like you did a hell of a job or if you haven't seen all the results from it things are kind of starting to come together um so you might want to make sure that you are well rested and you're taking care of your body okay we also have stop obsessing you're not the fucking center of the universe part of this is like this eight of swords energy i was getting here of almost like your environment being full or it's like this unex like you can't avoid or ignore how negative people are being. And it's like, stop thinking that you can change other people. You can't, don't obsess. If you're obsessing about trying to, trying to inspire other people or trying to encourage other people, trust me, it doesn't like, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um, people will only do what they want to do when they want to do it. And a lot of the time they have to come around to it by watching other people lead by example. So you can do your best, but if you start to feel like it's a, um, it's a very good and noble thing to do to encourage people, it doesn't mean that you should stop it entirely. But if you're kind of hitting a wall with people in your life, you, you kind of just have to throw your hands up and be like, you know, like, if you want it, take some steps towards it, man. Like, I'm here to cheer you on. Um, hopefully you'll be here to che cheer me on, right? Uh, but I'm just like... I've already told you how I feel. I already told you I feel like you can do it. Now it's up to you, right? You have to start doing things. You can't force somebody. It's that horse thing, right? You can lead a horse to water. And we have put the freaking phone down. I get to say the F word twice. It's a whole thing. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. Okay, so if it is getting safe and open and you're able to go do stuff you might want to socialize as safely as you can okay and we also have make better freaking choices if you're pissed off at where you are then stop taking yourself there okay and i feel like that's partially this change that i'm seeing here this shift in this energy i feel like there's a lot of you who are making that that decision Okay, Pisces, this is what I got for you this time. I hope something in here rang your bell, was even entertaining or just comforting with your morning coffee or your 3 a.m. McDonald's. I don't know what you're doing, <laughs> but I'm thankful that you're here. Thanks for coming to spend some time with me. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider it. Um, and I will see you on the next one, okay? Bye now.